get the latest on our weather with Sophia this morning. Cooler temperatures not going to last for too much longer, huh? No, not going to last for too much longer, but at least you were the bearer of bad news rolling and not me. Now, if you're waking up with us this morning, a good morning to you. I hope you have a restful weekend. Now, it's very hazy downtown at the moment. Temperatures are also in those 60s, so it's a cooler start to our day, but it is going to be a hot afternoon ahead of us. We'll see those 90s across our valley floors and some 80s for our friends in the mountains. But at this point, the 90s are refreshing compared to what we've seen all of July. Now, what we are going to struggle with today is that wildfire smoke because we'll get a southwesterly breeze. And because of that, it's going to all push that wildfire smoke from California and Oregon to our neck of the woods. So from as far as Stanley all the way down towards Pe Pocatello and towards Salmon this morning, that is going to be where we're struggling with our air quality. Now, just to give you a clear picture of what this actually looks like, areas in orange are where you're going to want to make sure you're avoiding some time outdoors, especially for your kiddos or the elderly. That's going to be the most susceptible groups for the areas in orange. Areas in red, you are not going to want to be there. Make sure you can try to get to a safer area and stay indoors. So keep this in mind while you're going about your day because the wildfire does look like it'll continue to be a struggle for us, at least for the foreseeable future. Now, as we also start to go about our day, you're going to notice some changes in our sky and the rest of the week. We have this cold front approaching and as it approaches, notice this band of moisture inching its way closer and closer towards us. So here's what this looks like. We will be tracking some chances of rain into the later evening tonight and then tomorrow morning. Now this morning we start the day really hazy. Maybe a few clouds start to build in, but it's really going to start to build in through the back half of the day from our west. Now notice that area that could get some moisture from Baker City towards McCall. This is into the later evening and overnight. Now what does this mean for us tomorrow morning? Well, we'll start to see more moisture organized over our central mountains from McCall to Stanley. It's possible that we could could see a shower or a sprinkle or two across our Treasure Valley, but we also could just get a lot of cloud coverage over the area instead. Now this is through 10 o'clock this morning and by the time we head into noon and to lunchtime, you could say later lunch, we'll start to see a lot of this moisture pool out towards our east and that's going to give way to the heat returning. I know, I know, but take a look at the next 12 hours. At least we have temperatures in the 60s and 70s to start the day. Then by the back half, 3 p.m., 90s and 80s. Now for tomorrow, take a look at how our temperatures continue to dip. We'll see Tuesday bring us 80s across the area, Nampa, Boise and Caldwell seeing those mid 80s. But like I said, the heat is going to return. So by Wednesday, 90s will be possible and then triple digits by the weekend. So remember, take care of yourself and others. Really try to limit your time outdoors because of our air quality and just check on your friends and neighbors. Now for those of us who